Yo guys, what is going on? It is Invin here, and today what I am bringing to you guys is a brand new video on the blunderbuss in New World. Now, the PTR has just gone live at the time of recording this video, and of course, as you can see on the screen, I am hands-on with the blunderbuss. It's a very exciting new weapon that has just been added to the game, and if I scroll in a little bit, you guys can see a little bit better what this looks like in hand. It's sort of a short and stubby pistol type weapon. You do hold it with two hands there, as you can see. And obviously the visual effects are kind of fixed what they give you in the PTR, but it does look very, very cool. And it's certainly got some very interesting abilities. So what I'm going to do is go through each of the abilities with you, as well as the passives to break down fully what you can do with the blunderbuss, as well as my experiences with what I have found to do the most damage in terms of attribute combinations. And I'm going to give you a visual representation by showing you each of the skills by my trusty helpers in the background here, these training dummies, so you can see exactly what they look like and how they work in action as well. Now, before we fully jump into today's video, if you haven't already done so, please do go down below and drop a subscribe to the channel. It massively helps to support me and my content here on the channel, and I do upload every single day, so it would be amazing to have you here as part of my channel community. And other than that, guys, let's jump into it. So the first thing that you guys will be able to see here is, of course, the reticle. This one is a two-shot weapon. You can aim in with right-clicking the mouse, or you can just hit fire it, and it shoots, as you can see, a barrage of bullets that each give you a damage number. Reload is pretty quick. The default number of shots that you do per every time you attack is six, so you need to be pretty close to hit all six. As you can see, the further back you start to get, you'll start to hit maybe five, sometimes maybe six of them, and then the further away, again, you'll start to hit less and less, so it is really going to do the most damage up close and personal, but it is still going to do a fairly large amount of damage from a sizable medium distance I would say there if you're aiming especially you're going to be able to hit those pellets which is really nice to give you guys some reference as well the current stats that I'm running is 300 strength 150 int obviously nothing in con right now this is just a pure damage build to see what the potential actually is and I am in light armor category as well so that is with the extra percentage there of 20% bonus damage so bear that in mind the numbers may vary but just to give you a rough idea so what we're going to do now is look at the abilities of the blunderbuss so the first thing we're going to do is look at the containment tree this tree is starting off with the net shot this is where you fire a large size net projectile out of the blunderbuss dealing 40 percent weapon damage the net is a large projectile that will slow anyone hit by 40 percent for 2.5 seconds if you are standing still or moving backwards the recoil from this attack will knock you further backwards if you are moving forwards or sideways you will continue unhindered now this can then be upgraded by once which is called fast hands and this one is if the net shot hits a target it reduces this cooldown by 20 percent we then have a second upgrade here called apparatus which is the net now inflicts a 50 percent slow that degrades to normal move speed over five seconds and finally a third upgrade which is barbed netting the net shot's initial hit is reduced to five percent weapon damage however it deals 35 percent additional weapon damage as poison for each second for three seconds so i'll give you guys a little representation in game of how that works you would go up to an enemy press the ability button and it shoots out that big net as you can see that's the poison in effect there and it does a few dots there of 700 now it's worth noting before we go any further that the blunderbuss is scaling off both strength and intelligence so as you guys can see it's in both of those strength being the primary intelligence being the secondary stat and of course the actual weapon itself does it give you, you can see there, standard attack deals 23% thrust damage per pellet. Obviously, you know, you get six attacks there. So it is a thrust damage weapon as well, similarly to the spear. So bear that in mind, you will be doing thrust damage with this weapon. So in terms of mutations and expeditions, all of those relative mobs that take extra thrust damage, it's going to be a great weapon. Now, moving on to the second ability here in the containment tree, then we have the claw shot, which is where you shoot forward a four pronged claw attached to a chain from the muzzle. The projectile will travel up to 14 meters and cannot pull you upward more than 3 meters because it kind of works like a grappling hook. If it connects to an enemy, it will deal 40% weapon damage and inflict a root for one second before quickly pulling you towards them. The pull can be cancelled by any ability use or primary fire and it is also taunt gem compatible. Now, this can be upgraded with an in and out ability, which is the first upgrade here, which is upon usage, restore 8 stamina every second for 10 seconds. We then have a second upgrade here, which is combat readiness, and this is landing a pellet, even if blocked, lowers the cooldown of this ability by 2% each. And then a third and final upgrade for it, which is called mobile overload. 
and this one is successfully landing claw shot will automatically grant one loaded ammunition. If you currently have two loaded ammunition, then this will exceed the maximum cap and grant you a third ammo. So this is a really cool ability. And what I'll show you guys now is how this one works. As you can see, if we go up to the training dummy, press the ability, it grapples on, does some damage and pulls you towards them. Obviously giving us the third shot you can see on the top of the reticle there as well. So that we could now do a follow up of three shots there from the blunderbuss. Which is pretty cool now if you are further distance away as he's as it said there 14 meters is the distance lots of people trying this weapon out but it does drag you towards them a fair distance and you can instantly shoot the weapon straight into someone and as you can see they're doing quite a bit of damage so yeah pretty cool ability little grappling hook type thing and then the third and final ability in this containment tree then is Azoth Shrapnel Blast. This one is where you fire five shots in a horizontal fan in front of you while pushing yourself backwards. Each shot will deal 58% weapon damage. Each consecutive hit on the same target will deal 15% less damage than the previous. Now you can upgrade this for the first time with Reach, which is increasing the range of this attack from 12 meters to 16 meters. It also then has Discord Upgrade, which is fire four additional pellets with each use of this ability. Then you have Refresh. Each individual hit from this ability from the Blunderbuss Primary Fire will lower the cooldown of the ability by 1.5%. Then you have the Upgrade Refresh, which is each individual hit from this ability or from the Blunderbuss Primary Fire will lower the cooldown of this ability by 1.5%. And then the final upgrade here, which is Azoth Bomb, which is where you fire a singular bomb down the center of a fan. This bomb will impact itself into the world and then explode, dealing 100% damage in a 3 meter area after a 0.5% second delay so this is a pretty cool upgrade and i'm going to show you guys what this ability does right now so you go up to an object we're going to get pretty close to this training dummy here and you press f and as you can see a huge amount of damage comes out of that in a fan straight in front of you which means you're probably going to get a decent cone amount of damage and as you will see the bomb does come out of the middle there to implant and do a little bit more damage as well so i'll use this ability again to show you guys Loads of damage ticks, and then you'll see a 2,000 tick at the end there for the fire damage from the bomb as well. So very cool ability. You could follow up with slowing someone with the net. Obviously, it drives you backwards if you stood still or moving backwards, so you can use it as a disengage or to move about a little bit more. If you're going forwards or going side to side, then it will keep you where you are. You can then grapple onto somebody, dive in, and follow up with the F there, which does the current attack, the Azoth Blast. Very cool abilities. Now on this side of the tree, you've also got some passives, which are future endeavors, which is where if you land five or more pellets in a single shot, you restore one stamina per hit. You then have run and gun, which is reloading, gives you a speed boost of 40% that decays over one second. So a nice little speed boost once you reload there. You then have ramp. Reloads give you a damage boost of 4% for 6 seconds and this stacks up to 4 times. Next is Deep Load. The last shot loaded into the blunderbuss will do 15% increased damage. So whether that's the second or the third shot depending upon whether you've used the abilities or not. Then down here, the last passive on the containment side is Fortifying Aggression. Successful hits within 3 meters grant Fortify, increasing damage absorption by 10% for 2 seconds. Now, finally, as well, we have obviously the ultimate on this side, which is Unload. The next shot fired within six seconds after triggering an ability will have nine pellets instead of six. This effect can stack up to two times. So we get that one in, and I'll show you guys what this looks like. Obviously, if we shoot from close distance, we will get that fortified buff there. If we shoot from slightly further away, it has to be within three meters, so we don't actually get that. But obviously, you do have a little bit of a range advantage there. As you can see there, the pop-up above my bar, which is your next basic attack shoots nine shots that is after you use an ability so if we shoot that one and then there you can see a huge amount of damage and as you can see that lasts until you shoot a bullet out of the blunderbuss there now also what you will notice is when you actually shoot the blunderbuss when you go ahead and do a reload you've got a little bit of a movement speed and you can see if you do it in quick enough succession that this stack of increased damage is starting to stack up pretty nicely every time you reload so you can go ahead and get that pretty much nicely stacked up to four times and then you can continuously keep spamming that, which does increase the damage by quite a lot. So this is going to be a really good perk if you are going to be someone that's using the auto attacks with the blunderbuss. And particularly in 50v50 wars, I think that's going to be a crucial passive to have on.
So next here, we are going to look at the chaos side of the skill tree. As you can see, this one is got some like projectiles and bomb type things. So the first ability here is splitting grenade. This is where you shoot a grenade out of the blunderbuss that will bounce up to four times and detonate after 1.5 seconds. Splitting grenade can also be manually detonated by reactivating its ability key at any time. Upon detonation, it will create three mini grenades that will disperse and explode one second after landing and each dealing 85% of the weapon damage in a 3 meter radius. Each successive grenade hit against the same target deals 40% base damage. Now of course you can upgrade this first time by soften which is deal 25% increased damage to targets greater than 50% health. Second upgrade here which is delayed escape. Any grenade hit grants haste increasing movement speed by 20% for 3 seconds. Multiple hits will refresh the duration when hit. And then the third and final upgrade for this one here, which is the incendiary bursts. Splitting grenade explosion inflicts burn on hit, dealing 10% weapon damage per second for 10 seconds. And this can stack up to three times. So I'll show you guys this ability. So you throw that one out, it splits into the three and they each deal damage. As you can see, 1,000, 1,500 and then a 2,000 plus crit there. Pretty good damage and of course it would then inflict burning as well. This can bounce up to four times, but as you can see when I'm firing it directly at the model, it just kind of hits the model and then spreads around it. So it's pretty cool ability there. The next one we're going to be looking at here then is Mortar Charge. This one is where you load the blunderbuss with heavy canisters for the next 15 seconds or three shots. Shots will no longer fire multiple pellets, but will instead fire a heavy, fast diving mortar style canister that can cause a tall explosion upon impact, dealing 126% weapon damage in a three meter area. If the target is further than 10 meters away, they will take 35% increased damage from the mortar. Now you can upgrade this by adding Steady, which each hit grants 7 Stamina. A second upgrade of Freedom, which with each shot fired gain a burst of 50% movement speed, which decays over 3 seconds. And a third upgrade of Streak, which is gain an extra canister. You can now fire up to 4 shots. Additionally, each Mortar Charge will increase the damage for future Mortar Charge hits in the next 6 seconds by 10% for a maximum of 30%. So instead of it decreasing by 35%, you can actually bring some of that damage back up with this upgrade here. So I'll show you guys how this one works as well. So you press the ability, obviously it goes into this different reticle here, and you can see that you've got four shots. If these are direct hits like so, they do a very high amount of damage actually, and you can see it kind of shoots into them and blows up, which is a big damage ability. Now I'll try to get a little bit further away here and show you guys what goes on, but you can see that this is doing a lot of damage further away, even more than the first time, which is a crazy, crazy high amount. And yeah, this is a very, very high damage ability and is going to be something that's going to be very, very useful and a lot of fun to use as well. I really like that one. Now, the third and final ability on the Chaos side is called Blast Shot. This one is where you blast immense wind out of the blunderbuss, knocking down any target immediately in front of you. The Blast Shot deals 70% weapon damage. This can be upgraded with Preparation, where the Blast Shot applies a Rend, increasing the damage applied to all targets affected by this ability for 20% for six seconds so a big 20% rent for six seconds which is really really crucial and then also the second upgrade for this one here which is lingering flow this one is where the area 10 meters in front of you remains influenced by the wind for the next eight seconds you and your allies gain a 25% movement speed bonus while in the area so again I'll show you guys this ability too so what you would do is aim at the target, shoot forward, and this would, of course, apply a rend and knock them back. And you can see on the floor here the speed bonus wind that you get, and that lasts for 8 seconds after the ability. Just to give you guys a bit of influence on how far this actually does go with this speed buff, I'm going to shoot this way. And you can see it's a fairly sizable distance, especially if this was going to be on a capture point in OPR or in a 50v50 war. Or even just use maybe as a flank team entrance, you shoot that out, knock a few people down, run in, real speed boost the team. It's going to be a very very crucial ability and something that I think will have a lot of different play styles and sort of implementations in different PvP environments as well as PV of course as well. Now finally what we're going to look at here is the passives and of course the ultimate on the chaos side. So the first one starting in the top left is future planning. This is where using an ability reduces all other ability cooldowns by 4% of their remaining time. You then have in the top right on a row, which is triggering an ability it decreases all damage taken by 3% for 10 seconds. And this can stack up to five times. So this is any ability, not just the ones from this side of the tree, which is cool. Then you have Bite Back. This passive is every pellet that is a headshot reduces all cooldowns by 0.5%. 
You then have Buckshot, which is where you deal 10% increased damage to any target as long as you have not damaged them in the last 8 seconds. You then have Artillery, which is direct damage from abilities, is increased by 15% if the victim is 10 meters or further away. You then have Last Chance, which is wherever you take a hit and your health is below 50%, to gain a 50% damage reduction for 4 seconds, and this is on a 30 second cooldown. And finally, the last passive on the Chaos side, which is Extended Chamber. Holding onto two loaded ammunition for two seconds after a reload will load a third active ammunition. So if you don't shoot straight away, you've got two active ammunition. For two seconds, you will then get a third one added into that clip as well, which is amazing. And then finally, the ultimate on this side, which is Double Down. Once every 30 seconds, your next ability used will have its cooldown reduced by 50%. Now, obviously, once you get good at predicting when this is going to be up, this is a huge one that you can get on your your best abilities but i just want to go back to the mortar charge now of course with the artillery ability here where you do even further 15 percent damage if you are more than 10 meters away just to show you how much damage this can actually do so we're going to stand all the way back here again this one's about 20 so we'll go for this one right here and i'll show you guys how this actually works and that this is actually quite a big amount of damage you're going to be doing 3.5 3.7 3.9 and then 3.982 again so huge amount of damage on this one this weapon looks absolutely amazingly fun of course you can mix and match the trees but that's going over every ability every passive and both of the ultimates for the blunderbuss so i do hope that you guys have found this video useful and informative as a quick breakdown as to how everything works with the blunderbuss and we'll bring you guys some gameplay from the new expedition very very shortly on the channel as well where i have been using a blunderbuss it's been a lot of fun so make sure you stay tuned for that one other than that guys that is going to be it for today's video so i'd like to thank you for your time thank you for watching and i will be back at you again very very shortly with some brand new content take care guys and peace